day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about joint variation. Alright. Okay, so let's talk about joint variation. And for joint variation, we're going to encounter this phrase. If y varies jointly as x and z. For joint variation, we will encounter three variables. So, for the first variable, the one before the word varies jointly, it is our dependent variable. Now, this dependent variable will change due to the values of the two variables that are our independent variables. Okay? So, this phrase will be translated in the equation y is equal to k times x times z. If you can observe, it is just like the direct variation but we have two variables that are independent. Alright, so let's have our example for solving joint variation. And let's have an example. For example, y varies jointly as x and z. If y is equal to 192 when x is equal to 8 and z is equal to 4, Find y when x is equal to 5 and z is equal to 3. So in this case, since we encounter the word, okay, since we encounter the word varies jointly, we're going to translate this phrase to an equation y is equal to the constant variation times the variable x times the variable z. Then after that, let's identify our first pairs or first group of the given. So for the first group of our given, we have y is equal to 192, x being equal to 8, and z is equal to 4. So we're going to use that to get the constant variation. So using the same equation, we can substitute the given to get our constant variation. So, 192 is equal to k times 8 times 4. In order for you to solve for the value of k, we can divide both sides by 8 times 4. Let's divide both sides by 8 times 4. We will have k is equal to 192 divided by 8 times 4. Now for me, in dealing with this, I apply cancellation. So I divide 8 and 192. I will get 24 and this will be 1. I cancel 24 and 4. I will get 6 and this will be 1. So my constant variation is equal to 6. Now that I have the constant variation, I can now use that to get the value of y when x is 5 and when z is 3. So using the same equation, y is equal to k times x times z, I will substitute the new given. So y is equal to 6, the constant variation, times 5 times 3. And we will get y is equal to 90. And this will be our final answer. The value of y will be equal to 90 when x is 5 and z is 3. Alright. Okay, so let's have another example. For example, f varies jointly as g and h. If f is equal to 72 when g is equal to 4 and h is equal to 9, find h when f is equal to 42 and g is equal to so in this case, since we use the word varies jointly, we're going to translate our phrase f varies jointly as g and h to an equation f is equal to the constant variation times g times h. Now, since we're given the values of f, g, and h, that will be the first set of f, g, and h in our given or in our problem. So we're going to use the first set of the variable 
to get the constant variation in order for us to find the value of h when f is 42 and g is 3. So we're going to use f is equal to 72, g is equal to 4, and h is equal to 9. So using those values, let's solve for the constant variation. So we have using the same equation, f is equal to k, g, h, k substitute the values of f, 72 is equal to the constant variation times 9 times 4. Now, let's isolate k by dividing both sides by 9 times 4. k is equal to 72 all over 9 times 4. Now, yeah, since I don't want to handle big numbers, I'm just going to apply cancellation. Okay, so 9 and 72, I can cancel 9 and 72. 72 will become 8. 9 will become 1. I can cancel 8 and 4. I will now have 8 will become 2. And 4 will become 1. So our constant variation is 2. Now using the constant variation, we can now solve for the value of h when f is equal to 42 and g is equal to 3. So using the same equation, f is equal to k, g, h, substituting the values of f, k, and g that we have, we have 42 is equal to 2 times 3 and we're looking for the value of h. Then divide both sides by 2 times 3. 2 times 3. So that our h will be isolated. So h is equal to 42 all over 2. 42 over 2 times 3. Now I can apply cancellation again. So that I will not multiply 2 and 3 and deal with big numbers. Okay, I can cancel 42 and 2. We will have 21 and 1. And I can still cancel 21 and 3. I will have 7 and 3 will become 1. So our h, the value of h will be equal to 7 when f is 42 and g is equal to 3. Alright. Okay, let's have our last example for today. A varies jointly as b and c. If a is equal to 280, when b is equal to 8 and c is equal to 7, find b when a is equal to 100 and c is equal to 2. So, in this case, since we use the word varies jointly, we're going to translate this phrase into an equation a a is equal to the constant variation times the variable b times the variable c now since we are given a set of values for our variable a b and c we can use this in order for us to get the constant variation and that constant variation will help us find the value of b when a is 100 and c is equal to 2. So, using the same equation, a is equal to k, b, c, using the same equation that we translated, we substitute the first set of our a variable a, b, and c. So, we have 280 is equal to the constant variation times 8 times 7. Now, let's isolate the constant variation by dividing both sides by 8 times 7. Take note, I will not, I mean, you can multiply 8 and 7 and divide both sides by the product of 8 and 7. But for me, I don't want to handle big numbers, that's why I just divide both sides by the product of 8 and 7 and not simplifying it or combining it or multiplying it just yet okay 
So, we will have the constant variation is equal to 280 divided by 8 times 7. Here, I can apply cancellation. Since I don't want to handle big numbers, I will apply cancellation. So, 180 divided by 7, 180 will be 40, 7 will be 1. Since I can still cancel 40 and 8, 40 will become 5 and 8 will become 1. So, my constant variation will be equal to 5. Okay. Now that I have the constant variation, I can now solve for the value of B when A is equal to 100 and C is equal to 2. So, using the same equation, we have A is equal to K, B, C. Substituting the values of A and C, we have 100 is equal to the constant variation, which is 5. We're looking for the value of B and C is equal to 2. Now, in this case, we can divide both sides by 5 times 2. So that we can isolate our variable b. So b is equal to 100 all over 5 times 2. Okay, so we can apply cancellation. 105, that will be 20. Uh, 20 and 1, cancel, cancel. This will be 10 and this will be 1. So, so we have b is equal to 10. So 10 will be the value of B when A is equal to 100 and C is equal to 2. So that's how you get your final answer. Alright, now that you already know how to solve joint variation, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!